testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back, we are back. Uh, excellent day of boxing, really, really, really good day of boxing that I want to get into. I want to break down, I want to spend some time on this Lee Wood performance, which was a masterpiece over Sansu. Um, Shusan? You can say it either way. Um, Su Can? That's wrong. Um, but, but let's get... Before we get into it, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, to keep the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, Please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Updated some new content on that site. Um, from this weekend's action in Irving, Texas. Uh, So please check that out. Please subscribe. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, Lee Wood is all the way back. Um, he's bringing the belt back to Nottingham. Um, uh, he's going back to Nottingham as, you know, with a WBA belt with the, uh, spectacular win. Um, Lee Wood was a guy 25 and two now after that one, who was an afterthought. Um, he had lost to Gavin McDonald way back, uh, 2014, ran off a bunch of wins in a row, um, and then lost to J- uh, Jazz Dickens uh, in the Golden Contract um, in 2020, a fight he was supposed to win, um, and he lost a close, tight decision. So that's uh, about a year and a half ago now. <clears throat> uh, and it looked like, you know, his he was a touted guy. It looked like, you know, his career wasn't going to pan out. It wasn't going to pan out at all. I want to get back to Jazz Dickens uh, because I think this means because Jazz had beat him pretty convincingly. He's got to fight come up with Kid Gala had a rematch, uh, which I think Jazz wins. And I, I think this attests to that. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's not sidetrack on that. I digress. Uh, so he came back and stopped Reese Mould, uh, Mould, who is was an unbeaten prospect at the time. Uh, people thought highly of him. Um, he dropped him in the fourth and then uh, finished him in the ninth uh, in a 12-round fight, and he looked good. Um, he entered this fight as a, an underdog. He wasn't supposed to win this fight, um, and he fought. He didn't just win. He dominated the fight, and we're going to get into that. Um, and now he, he walks away with a, with a WBA regular belt. Um, so, uh, he, you know, he's obviously relevant at 126 pounds. Um uh, Susan, um, what was a guy that was touted? A lot of people liked him. You know, he had high punch output, threw a ton of punches. Um, but Lee Wood absolutely took him apart. Um, he dismantled him like a time bomb. Um, it was it was impressive stuff from Lee Wood. Um, you know, the 126 pound division is has an interesting setup right now, and, and I do want to get into that in a little bit. Um. But first off, that was a masterpiece performance. All right, I, and the judges had it close to right. I, I had it nine two. I, I couldn't find more than two rounds to give to uh, Su uh, Can. Not a single, not, not more than two. Um, I, I thought Jazz Dickens uh, fought brilliantly. Uh, I thought he was ripping uppercuts on the inside. He was going head body really, really well. Uh, he was out, he, he was jabbing him from the distance. He was boxing really well from the distance. He'd get inside, mix up head body really well. His offensive attack was on point. He was nullifying the aggression and the, and the, and, and the typical, uh, punch output of, 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 of Susan. Um, and I, I thought it was a dominant performance, which came to the 12th round. And then, you know, now back in the conventional stance, he lands a masterpiece right hand that drops him, and then he quickly finishes him with a barrage of shots in about 16 seconds left in the fight. Uh, I had it nine rounds to two. I would have had it ten to two, but the fight got stopped with 16 seconds. I thought it was one-sided for the most part. Um, that that uh, Susan didn't have any moments. He did have moments, but um, I just thought the work from Lethal Lee Wood was sharp. It was on point. 
It was accurate. It was snappier. I, I thought he basically dominated the fight. I thought he landed more shots, better shots, cleaner shots, round after round after round. I didn't think the fight was close. Um, now, I know Dougie Fisher, unofficially, had um, Leewood losing, and so did uh, Andy Lee on the broadcast, which made no sense. I didn't understand it at all. I, th their cards were so shocking to me. And these are people I respect. You know, Andy Lee, I respect. Uh, Dougie Fisher, I, I, I respect. I, I don't know how you can have that scorecard. It doesn't make any sense. How, how could you have a scorecard like that? I, I, maybe the 51, maybe the ninth, maybe you can give them the first. I mean, three rounds is the most you can give them. Eight three is the closest you can have this fight. I thought this was a best performance. I think it's one of the best performances, one of the best championship performances of the year. It was that dominant. I'm a little surprised. Um, are people having this fight even close, let alone having uh, Leewood losing? Um, I don't even know what to make of that. That that is so far out of the realm of anything that I saw in the ring. I I, I saw Leewood moving his head, getting on the inside, of head body, head body, mixing it up, mixing it up. I saw him landing clean shots. I saw him out jabbing him. I saw him out working him. Uh, I saw him fighting out of both the conventional and southpaw stance. I saw him doing so much great body work. Ripping uppercuts on the inside when they were on the inside. Like doing so many good things. And and and, and again, I can't find any rounds really. Besides the ones that I named. I we can't even get there. Those aren't even reasonable rounds that reasonable people could flip. I thought it was one side. I was agree with Eddie Hurt. I and there's not more than three rounds that, that would lost. Uh but the 126 pound division is shaping up interestingly now. It, it really, really is. Uh, and, and I want to spend just a moment on that because it, it, it is shaping up to be an interesting division, right? You have Gary Russell, Navarrete, Santa Cruz, Galahad, and Dickens. Right? Then you have Marisa Laura. You have Isaac Dogbay, Josh Warrington. You have some names in there. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I think... What you're going to get is, a, you know, the winner of the Galahad um, Jazza Dickens fight, where I picked Jazza. I, I think you're going to get a rematch. Um, the you know, uh, well, I think Dickens is going to win, uh, but I think you're going to get whoever wins that fight, Galahad and Dickens. I think they're going to fight later in the year. Um, they're going to fight Lee Wood. Now, like I said, I, I, I'm picking Dickens. I know Dickens lost. Um, to um, Galahad early in their career when they were both prospects. Uh, I get that. Uh, Galahad's probably going to be a slight favorite going into the fight. I haven't, I haven't looked at the odds. Um, I, like, I, I, there's another show on this where Jazz Dickens is just a much improved fighter now. He's a much better fighter, a more complete fighter. Right? He does many, many things now uh, where Galahad is just a better version of the fighter that he was. I think Dickens is vastly improved. Dickens beat I, – I, I know the, the, the scorecards were close, but I, I thought Dickens beat Wood convincingly. And you just saw what Wood did. Um, so I, 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 in my personal opinion, I think Jazz Dickens wins that fight, and then you get a Jazz Dickens uh, versus um, Lee Wood rematch later in the year. Uh, I think that that's certainly possible. I think it's likely to happen at the end of the year. Uh, it's a great fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. What do you think is next for Lethal Lee Wood? Uh, were you as impressed with his performance um, as were with mine? As I as I was, I mean. Uh, did you have were you, was your scorecard more like mine, or was it more like Dougie Fisher and Andy Lee? Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. I thought it was one sided ma masterpiece, virtuoso performance from Lee Wood. Um, I, I, it's, I was good to see his career is finally turning it into what it was supposed to be at 33 years old now. Um, please like and subscribe, share to all forms of social media. 3D Box comes at you twice a day, uh, with quick hits twice a day. Um, share, hit the icon, all that stuff. And also our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Please like and subscribe. Uh, that channel, share that channel. Um, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery from Texas to the world. Thank you.
and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.